So let's go ahead. Go to the home directory. We clear everything. Uh, we have already the source file. So now the first thing is uh, let's have a location for you to save your no solvers. So for that, let's create a directory. And then we have WM project. This is this will take you to the source location of your user folder, user directory you want to go. And in there, let's say I create a folder of applications and solvers. Please make sure you don't do any mistake in line, I mean, in the spelling of this, because later on, uh, then again, you test issue. So what I have done is just created one new folder in my run directory. So I mean, in the, my user directory, I created this new folder applications solvers. OK. And uh, WM project source user directory is taking you to this location, my user location. Done. Anyone can say done, yes. OK. So, so now that we have copied, we made the solver. So let's copy our. Uh, we are going to modify the IcoFoam solver. So it's like incompressible solver, and based on ISO uh, PISO algorithm, and we are going to incorporate temperature equations in it. Okay. So U and P will be solved by PISO algorithm IcoFoam, and we will add a new temperature equation. So we will obviously take our um, Navier-Stokes solver, PISO solver, and then uh, modify it to add the temperature equation. So for that, I am going to copy my from home solvers, home solvers. I will copy incompressible. I perform. Copy it where we are going to copy it to our new solver location. That is that is WM project user directory applications solvers and let's say I rename my new solver as my phone. Any issue till here? Copying this file. Done till here? That's good. So let's go to this new location where our solvers are. I have not my phone. So I will go inside my my phone. And let us check what are the files inside this. So this is very basic solver, just the nearest of solver. It has found the main directory, create fields, and isoform C. So, so the first step we will do is this replace this C file because our new solver will be my phone. So I will move my my IcoFoam C to my phone C. You need to make a new name because otherwise you will when when you will run the IcoFoam you will run your your own solver. I mean difficult to I mean you will replace the IcoFoam previous which is come with by default. So for that, my phone C I am replacing. So now let's go to the make folder. 
this is the i think previous tutorial also you have got some idea when you have do the turbulence modeling tutorial so let's actually we need to edit it right so the first thing we need to edit is in the make folder where you are setting the locations of your new files so here i will my new folder C file is my phone and executable will be in the user bin user app bin and then we have this our folder is also named as my phone so please make sure you make these changes to files done someone Okay. So we are done. That. So okay. So let's check it once again. So, so we have we have not modified anything yet. So let's do wmax so that we know that our new solver is ready. Actually, later on we will do the modifications. So if I do wmax, it will compile this new solver. depending on your system it will take some time so it compiled without any error make sure uh, you are on the same page i am clearing my screen give me a thumbs up or something so that i know people are following don't clear okay don't clear e this you don't need this is automatic i mean why it what about it if you have edit or okay someone don't want them to clear okay i will carry on note pad exc so let's say inside this there is another file i am we are not going to modify anything but let us just see that folder so later on when you will have let's say you want to couple your say Eulerian and Lagrangian solvers so there the, that time you may need to change your options so here you are actually you just see the create fields and one C file but actually it is with, with these uh, options we are actually locating all the files that are present in the source folder of finite volume include and mesh tools on all the libraries in the finite volume and mesh tools. So later on, let's say you want to incorporate a turbulence model, you need to source the turbulence thing, you need to say Lagrangian multiphase model. If you see those solvers, you will see a few more lines and you can you can estimate that how you, you are going to modify your own solver, whether you need to incorporate new things or uh, remove some things. So this is very basic thing. We uh, we just need to add equation, so we don't need to add anything here. Um, I'm closing it. Okay. So we have done that double uh, make thing. So now we can add it in the create fields. Oh, uh, in this file, what are the things I need to add? Can anyone tell me? I need to add a temperature equation. Come on, not bad, not EFC. So uh, I need to add a temperature equation. So it will have a material property that is thermal diffusivity. So for that, I need to and here you can see it, uh, the open form in this file, it reads the, the files through input output dictionary that is transport property. In the transport property, it is actually reading already a user defined function, user defined value of uh, dynamic viscosity. So similarly, I will add a thermal physiology term. So I will just copy this and paste it here. 
and let's say I rename this new variable as dt, and in the transport property it will be read with the term dt. Dimensions are same as dim dimension of viscosity, so I don't need to change there. Here also, look up for the term dt. These changes, if you have made, then you have uh, incorporated. We have added the variable thermal diffusivity. So this is an input output dictionary. How you read, take values from user. One way to check, define a variable. Now let's say there is another way to define the variable. Density we don't. We are solving incompressible. So we don't need to worry about density here. And it is not a dynamic viscosity. It is already kinetic viscosity. So let's say the other variable that has independent variable that there's we have already pressure and velocity. So you can see the one is a scalar value value and one other is a vector value. But you can see the syntax. Syntax is, is remains same. Just in the first line, you need to define volume scalar field, volume vector field. Another is this uh, the size and all in which variable, in which mess you're defining the variable. These things are taken care of over here. And then you have some options over here, input output objects. This is needed whether to read the boundary condition and whether when you want to get the output. So the first thing is if it is must read, then it means that it will ask for a boundary condition. The other option is no read, then it will it won't ask for the boundary conditions. And auto write or no write. If you don't want to get save that as an output, you can get it, keep it as no write. And otherwise keep it as auto write. It will automatically based on your control field dictionary what to define in your control parameters, it will write. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this because temperature is a scalar field. Let me copy it from the pressure field side. Okay. I'm replacing the P with P. That's it. People followed? I'm going to close it. So we have added the some new variables. So one was uh, independent variable T and one is like user defined variable that is DT. So after that, we I will go to notepad. Yes, and change what change, add the equation in the my phone. Let's see. Okay. So where I need to add this temperature equation? So if you see here, I mean in before this, this is the main file, main solver. Uh, run directly, so this is a main function. And uh, before this, it's like the, you, you set the initial conditions, you set the, calculate the initial continuity error, create mesh, create time, so set up your control parameters and set up your root case file so that you can do the post-processing things. And from this line, your time loop starts. Can somebody tell me where should I add this temperature equation outside the time loop? Where should I add my temperature equation? Here I have controlling the concurrent number. From that I am calculating the delta t. Here setting the u, u equation, solving the u equation. And this is the PSO algorithm. So I will maybe in the slide, slides I will discuss with how this piece algorithm works. So once you get the pressure and U equation, so we are solving temperature as a specific scalar. 
so i don't it need to be incorporated in the like piece algorithm after the piece algorithm when i will get my u and p field i will write the temperature equation inside the time loop so that it solves at every time so what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to copy this every scalar function here paste it here but i need to modify these changes so it is a bit dilatation t something you can do i previously in that before so so fbn dt it is the dt term for temperature and the fbn divergence term for temperature the volume flux phi temperature t and then find the relation so the relation should be people follow and then i will rename this equation is t equation and i'm going to solve this equation right i will give some time here people to add if then then i will save this uh krishna can you repeat that my form editing once again so like the description of the oh, solver that i said something yeah i mean the editing that you did someone lost editing it. only yeah editing so after this like after this piece loop i am getting my velocity and pressure field so and i want to solve my temperature equation inside the time loop so after before this run time right and after getting the velocity field that is piece loop is ending over in this, this facet so after that i write this temperature equation here you can see this is the non orthogonal loop and before that it is the piece of correction loop that is ending over here so after that i am writing the temperature equation uh, there is no source term in this temperature equation uh, for simple okay so in this i am solving the temperature without the coupling so if you want to do the coupling then i think you need to add a source term in your u equation here you will some term will come with the function of t and also if you have added something here then you need to take care of that in here also in getting the fluxes here so that modification also you need to do and then you will have a coupled velocity and temperature function you solve it so if okay then i will close this file good so i have added these things so let's i have done the modification in my solver so let's do w may compile it once again so that see there is no error yeah i am getting problem i'm hearing it so from here now that i have made my new solver i need uh, to define a new case file uh, hello uh, mr krishna yes i'm getting an error Um, what error? Uh, the error says permission denied. Okay, so then you might have uh, app user been there. You need to modify. So, please modify. Let's see. In the main folder, the files. 
here you need to make it own user app name which shall you to this change uh, can you please zoom it a bit i mean i'm not able to yeah okay one second just thank you so good or you made a forward so let's go to the run directory to run to make a case file for this new solver so now i am in the run directory so i will again copy my cavity case and modify in there so i will copy it from phone tutorials compressible Okay. Okay. And I will let's say I copy it to my cavity. So let's check it. My cavity is there. So let's go into the my cavity. So so what are the changes I need to do here? Can somebody tell me? so first of all i have defined a user defined function that is dt so i need to define it somewhere right but by txc that is in the constant property file constant transport properties i need to define dt term here and the dimensions are going to be same as me that i have taken care previously and let's say previously i in the previous case i have forgot it so i keep it 2e minus 3 but let's say i mean in the previous case i have not made those those changes so for me i will do this 4e minus 5 that was previously when i run the cases 4e minus 5 okay so and then i need to change this to tt Okay, you people followed. Add this line. Yes. So I think you people did this right. So what are the changes again? I need to do. can somebody comment i have defined a new question t file yes other than that we will do that later other than that i have defined a new question so for this new question to solve i need to define the the boundary conditions yeah okay i need to define the schemes and solver also so to do that i will go and edit my schemes so what i need is i have defined a divergence term for temperature so for that i need to copy this i have this it term in my equation so for that it is this and let's say my divergence scheme for temperature will be up to okay so after this uh, Uh, laplacian scheme i don't need to, i mean i can define separately like uh, laplacian dtt but by default it is gauss linear orthogonal and for all the laplacians uh, command it will take that orthogonal and that that is what i want so i don't need to add the laplacian scheme here for temperature so let me close this file if you guys are done till here yes no so 
after this i need to define a solver also for this uh, solution so the new question need the algebraic equation that will be created i need to define a solver for that so for that i will copy this u whole command do this here t so the t equation will be you solve with this set of commands smooth solver is smoother let us replace it with gauss seidel okay rest of the things say as it is i think i need to define the final also so i will do that if not required also it won't harm also so the final is defined this change if you have done then i will close this i have defined the solver for the temperature equation in notepad typo error so mm, open form i mean notepad won't know what you want to type so and uh, i don't think notepad will tell you that the typo error type and all those things i mean once you will be like getting used to it use it frequently those things won't happen so to worry about that so i'm saving this so now boundary conditions that you people told me i need to define that i go inside the zero directory in here i have this u and p file so i will copy this p file to a t file so that i don't need to like create three file again so just little modification i need to do now t file dot file so what are the changes i need to do this looks easy p should be t after that dimensions is a temperature equation and it is like the previously that without source term that we have done the case so let me keep the body condition same as that so i will define it as 300 and define this as fixed value and the value and the form so okay Minus three hundred. So I will give some time here. If people have done, then okay. Everybody following? Yes, sir. So I will close this. Control date and clock mesh. I have not done any modification. Not required. So I will run the case now. Not much. My form, because the new solver is named as my form. So to run this new solver, the new command will be my form. Done. Okay, the time question time also is different, so maybe we won't able to compare it. But still, so you can see that we have this solve for t. 
we have solved for the temperature equation. This is like that. We will do this. Resolving and check it in the paraffin. So let us delete this first. My quality is the same. Pressure is like this. So I think I made a mistake somewhere. This temperature file should not come like this. Can anyone guess where is the mistake? I think I should change in the solver itself, the Laplacian. You don't need to repeat it, like uh, the process is done. So let us see if I do this change, what will be the result? Meanwhile, if you people have any doubts, you can shoot me. So I just made the modification of Laplacian term that is negative to positive. So those changes, let's see what is the result. Mm, delete the other result. Mm -hmm. It is overwriting. So uh, this so now you got the procedure right for so how to modify it and all temperature adding equation user defined variable and adding the equation so maybe I need to like check once again what is the equation and all. 
but that is the overall procedure. Let me just go in a folder here. Uh, it was negative. So the previous term was already actually right. Anyway, so you have created the solver, right? So let me show you some of the like links of the code. Uh, so someone is asking me why didn't you change the control dict? Control dict my is... application in control dict. I my don't... application because I am running directly yeah. through the command. So my phone. You need not to change it, right? If you are trying yeah, directly. You need not to change it. If you want to run it through your uh, that shell files that you create, all run script files. Then in that you use uh, underscore get applications. So if you want to use the script file, then you need to. I mean, then you need to read that application for the for There you need it. If you want to do that. So I have some glimpse of other codes that you may, I mean, you may find it anywhere in the CFD online and all, but it will help you to accelerate. So how you can do your coding, like the first thing you need to SL loop. So in here you can see how a cell loop is written in your code, how a face loop is written in your code, and how you can uh, loop over the cells and the faces <laughs> inside it. So that is the code. So you will have the video. So uh, uh, you don't need to save it or anything. This this is how you do it. Already in the previous tutorial, people have defined how you can and use a different function body condition, but I also included it. Uh, but say, let's say you have some mathematical functions inside your bond equation, then to include those functions, then you need to make uh, then you may use this snip, snip of code. So this is a sample of that. Any questions you can ask? Feel free to ask. So let's say another function that I want to write is to let's say I want to get an output functions. I want I want to get the output of let's say kinetic energy of the system, or uh, and also I still want to get the uh, distribution energy of the system. So here you can see that uh, the first line is actually when you have parallel processing, then you use this to get the total number of cells from counting all the processors. So that n cells with the total number of cells, we shall do the summation of the velocity vector field in parallel, and you get an average you are so some examples on this the motive here to just show you some example where how you can proceed and how you can do these things so that is my motive here so to show you you can define uh, just inside the volume new scalar field just inside the code itself you don't to sleep field also in the volume scalar field you can uh, use the u component x component to define the new variable u x u y and then you need to know that once you copy, I mean, once you uh, get a gradient of a scalar field, then it becomes a vector field. So to save that, you need to define the volume vector field. Similarly, to get you know, when the magnitude of the vector becomes a scalar. So some steps start that I'm showing you here, and a cell loop to calculate the kinetic energy of all the cells and the dissipation energy of all the cells. And this is a for two phase flow, so it is alpha one is the volume fraction, alpha and one minus alpha. So, and then I have to save that files. Let's say if kinetic energy, so I have already in the solve here, I have already defined a pointer for kinetic energy. So, this is the snapshot of how you can get the output uh, in a file. With the file name, let's say kdat. Just inside the time loop, if you can keep it, so then at each time step, you can get that. So, this is not a big thing, just a small snapshot. How you may accelerate your work. 
other than this any doubt if you people are having then you can ask i can show some more quotes uh, let's say sometimes you need uh, when you define the equation dimensions uh, open form works with dimensions so sometimes in your equations you may need to uh, change add a dummy variable which will change the dimension of your equations so let me show you how you can do that so here i have my solver already this is enter form So let's say here I have this so how you can define dummy variables. So let's say beam chain beam scalar. So d length is uh, this is this will be of dimension length. Otherwise, you can in the bracket inside you can define the all the fundamental di dimension and define a new variable with uh, given dimension. So once you, you how you will modify it, let's say in your equation. So So here you can see that I am adding this dummy variable because my level this is a equation for level set is calculated for multi phase flow. So for that I am adding this because the gradient it is delta t the grad function it is multiplying with the grad function, but the variable is a non-dimensional variable too. So I need to divide it so that the gradient and the multi division will lead up to a non-dimensional variable. Variable. So this is one way. I mean, very frequently, actually, we need to do these things. Once you develop the farmers. that is a given name for my solver. Uh, I, that is, I'm just showing a tutorial. It's not uh, uh, meant for you to do it. Uh, that is my customized solver. You won't find it. So, if anything, you may ask, or I will ask. So then, we I can show you how you define what is this algorithm. Now that I have time, then I will describe it. That so in the in the equation that you see in the icofoam, the first of first equation, the first thing that you see is the U matrix was solved. So in that it is uh, defining the matrix without the pressure term, which will lead up to a matrix form of this. And very frequently you will see terms H by A and all in all the uh, incompressible solver at least, which is H is here is the, the residual part, which is B is the uh, source term of the U, U equation minus the non-diagonal terms of the, uh, from the matrix of the U, which is defined as the H. And H by A will be the diagonal term of U when divided by H. H by A is there. So to solve the U question, when you solve it, you add the source term and you get a predicted velocity field, uh, which will be just solving this H of U minus that P by A diagonal term of U. Okay. So and then in incompressible flow, I think you all might be aware, like we have this uh, continuity equation which converts to Laplacian equation for pressure. And it comes from this equation, like when you do the uh, integration of this continuity equation in the you know, control volume, it changes to a divergence scale. 
and sf dot uf where then the predicted velocity field if you keep that uf which will be interpolated from the velocity field calculator previously so if you do that and then you will get the laplacian equation for pressure which we solves in the p equation if someone has doubt uh, they can ask so someone is asking you can you explain the part where you edited the myform.c file to add the t equation okay so let's go to the location So here, I mean, uh, here you see the time loop is beginning over here. And here I am defining the U equation that I said without pressure curve. It is defined over here. And then we have, uh, we solve the equation uh, with the uh, adding pressure as source term. And then, uh, first of all, I get the AP, like that is the diagonal term of the U equation matrix that is stored in here. And then this is the H by A term and uh, then we calculate from this flux vector field it is just a velocity field and then we calculate it as flux pi by a l and u uh, on the temperature so after, after the solving of the non orthogonal part non orthogonal loop and the piezo loop is ending here so i am adding temperature equation here so that it is inside the time loop but after getting the velocity and pressure field Start. Yeah, here we are like somebody sometime asked like why what is the error that it is representing continuity. So this is the file where you calculate the continuity error. And it should be less than let's say 10 power minus 8 or as less as possible so that your system is stable. Any more question in this isoform? What is this FBB flux is doing? Can someone tell me? So the flux is nothing but u dot s of vector. So that is what it is doing. And once we get the flux, again we have this term here. And that is for like say because you are the interpolating the point velocity field to the phase velocity field. So uh, the interpolation had to have some error. So to reduce this, that error, we have this addition term. Adjust phi, constant pressure. These are two for the various boundary conditions to remain stable and consistent. So we need these terms, this one here. That you remember sometimes, like in the fluent, we defined the uh, external uh, pressure field. So that is what also is defined in open form also. That line is over here, equation set reference. For the given reference cell, you define the reference value. Flux is calculated after the pressure correction step. And the velocity is applied. So I'm closing it. If anyone have any question, then I am here. You have to search it. You spend some time. Actually, uh, you people are doing great for like three the for the three day workshop. But uh, to get the glimpse of all the solvers, you need to spend some time and read read some tutorials, some files. So the, like Chandan Bhushar has shared some links, right? 
you can go through the links other other our platforms are cfd online and then open form have it has its own user guide so you can go through that and then you will get the idea of solver that you are you want to you book or instruction manual to write our own solver i think chalmers website is very good starting point for the basics to start your own development code code development part so you can go to that website they are yeah, giving a lot of tutorial on how you can merge one solver with another and of course forsi is also having lot of good tutorials and very very good case files good face uh, field modeling means multi phase flow or phase change keep up okay solidification of metals i think it will be phase change problem that you have the solidification part so i think most of you have the question like which solver to use and uh, to get the idea which solver you need to work on so actually you can just uh, in the open form website you yeah, there is a description of all the solvers basic solvers what it does and from that you will come to know and actual answer to this will come with experience like and related to your topic experience it will be a plus if you have the better understanding of c++ but to do like basic amount of coding like uh, defining the user defined condition and some snaps out of your code uh, you can start doing it and once you start doing it you will automatically learn so start doing it and you are good to start i mean basic with little knowledge only you are able to start a uh, reference regarding solver beach solver i mean there are a lot of reference for lot of solvers a uh, user uh, open form user guide will be a good starting point for all of you okay i will share that link yeah uh, one link which actually this gives the description of all the solvers i will share once this presentation and my session on this let us okay so i hope there are no more questions so we can take a, a tea break of uh, 15 minutes so please come back by 340 then 345 we will start with uh, mr divesh varia's uh, session